Hello everyone, welcome to Nordic Terms. I hope you all are fine and good. You are watching Nordic Terms YouTube channel from Hamsta, Sweden and this is Alan who is talking about today the Finland new laws about uh, the resident permit for the international students which is like a little bit flexible for the international students and in fact uh, from 15th of April 2022. So I'm going to talk about a little bit what change effect and what should be done for the international students when they are planning to move to Finland for higher studies, I mean master's, master degree studies. So the new laws that is affecting a lot for the immigrants or the international students, that's a very very good news that international students, there is now another reason to love this greatest, one of the happiest developed countries in the world, that is Finland. If you are looking into study in Finland, now might be the best time to make the move. The country has just passed a new law on April 15, 2022, granting the international students resident permit for the entire duration of their studies. That means that means that previously, when foreign students in Finland, like who are coming from third world countries to make a higher studies, their master's program in Finland or do a research in Finland, would have to extend their resident permit every year or two even with uninterrupted studies the change which is intended to attract more global talent to the nordic country would also be grant non-eu students and researchers a two-year job seekers permit what does it mean that means that after the study or I mean, the post study, they will have uh, two years of job searching visa or job searching resident permit that is connected previously one year, but now this is extended to two years. Students now may be granted resident permit for the entire duration of their studies. Students and researcher who is coming for the research uh, for postdoc or some other areas in the researching will also be able to get a two-year resident permit to look for work after graduating. Previously, students needed to apply for an extended permit every year, even if their studies went or uninterrupted. The new rules will also extend the time available for job searching after duration, after graduation. As from 15th of April, the change is concerned on all non-EU students who apply for resident permit uh, for their studies. The management legislation will also see changes for researchers. Resident permit applications submitted by international students typically peak in June and July. Last year saw some 5,800 non-EU students move to Finland. By doing away with the need to apply for a resident permit separately for each academic year, the new legislation makes international students live very easier in Finland. The amended rules also make sense from the perspective of public authorities as resident permit can always be withdrawn if the relevant conditions are, are no longer met. So students resident permit to cover entire duration. So the students, they will get, first of all, they will get two year resident permit if their entire studies is two year. So they don't need to extend the resident permit when they are studying here. And then after the study, they will get two years job searching visa that calls post study visa. Uh, that, that was previously one year, but now this will be two years. So what will be the, what will be remaining the same? As from 15th of April, the Finnish Immigration Service will grant students resident permits for the entire duration of their studies. Previously, the validity period of students' permit was capped at two years at a time. So most international students study at a higher education institution. As a condition for receiving a resident permit, students will continue to have to demonstrate that they, they can fund their own living standard in Finland. So international students are not entitled to, to, to the financial aid provided for the students by the Social Insurance Institute in Finland that called Kiela. So with the new rules, students must prove that they have sufficient financial resources to cover the first year of their studies, defined as 560 euros per month. So that can be like 6,750 per year. So that 6,750 euros they have to show for the entire two years of resident permit. So students are all also allowed to work. That, that That's another issue. But now this has also been extended like students who are allowed to work like 25 hours before but now it's extended to average 30 hours per week up from 25 under the earlier rules so 25 to 30 hours so they can work at best 30 hours per week 
So previously limited to term, time, the hours worked are now considered over the entire calendar year. The change aims to make it easier to track time, work for both students and employers. So looking for work after graduation, what made it easier? The new legislation will also make it easier for students to stay in Finland because after the graduating as students and researchers can now apply for two years resident permit to look for work. Applications for the permit may be submitted up to five years from graduation, so including from outside of Finland. So even if you are you are going back to Bangladesh or India or some other countries where you are you have resident permit, you can apply for the work resident permit application for up to five years after your graduation. That's an awesome law, I should say that Finland they promote international students to come to Finland and attract and come to the skill level in their in their in their job market permits for the job searching could previously be only insured issued for one year actually and applicants applications had to be submitted in finland while the students or research or resident permit was still valid so now even if your study resident permit is not valid you go go back to your country and now you can apply for the job searching visa in your country in in, in finland so that's that's the new rules on resident permit for job searching set a clear signal to the international students that we want them to stay and work in Finland. Imonen, she said. So from now on, degree students at higher education institutions will be granted a continuous resident permit and given a municipality of resident straight away. This makes a significant change actually as holding a continuous resident permit. That's not a, a temporary resident permit. They can have a two years continuous resident permit that calls resident permit A, type A, and type B has not been existing anymore. So for the international students, that will be type A. So that means continuous resident permit. And then after living four years continuous resident permit in Finland, they can apply for permanent residency. So that's very awesome for the international students to be settled down the life in Finland and Finnish government, they encourage all the international students to show their encouragement, show their innovation, show their ideas and research in, the, in Finland so they can contribute directly to the Finnish economy. So I really appreciate that. Finnish government, they come up with something that students can directly come with the continuous resident permit type A instead of the temporary residence permit the, uh, as the earlier laws say is type B. So entire time, two years master's program, they can have a type A resident permit and after that they can apply for uh, uh, two years resident permit, like job seeking resident permit and two plus two, four years, that's enough for applying for permanent residency in Finland. So the continuous for obtaining a permanent residence permit including a four year period of continuous residence in Finland while holding a continuous resident permit. So in future the time spent living in country with a resident permit for studies therefore counts towards the period of residence permit record for a permanent residency, isn't it? So the family members of students are also eligible to receive continuous resident permit in the same way. So the family which are coming with the students, with the international students as a dependent, they can have the A time permit, continuous resident permit also. So I think that this is an excellent, excellent, excellent initiation by the Finnish government. I think that they, they, they really, really try to take all the international students, their talent, like hunting for the talent in their job seeking market and then this job seeking market they can make their innovation in a different level by this law. So I really appreciate it and then I feel that of course the new legislation can have some, some negative impact also when it will be coming uh, into the effect. But in, in my opinion that students, international students, they can come for two years master's program with entirely two years of resident permit but they they have to show one year six thousand seven hundred fifty euros for one year that's uh, you, you don't need to show the whole two living expenses standard so one year uh, money shows and then two years got two years resident permit and then after the study you get two years of uh, job seeking visa and then this four years after this continuous a type permit then you can directly apply for the permanent residence and finish, finish uh, to, to, the, to the Finnish embassy. So I really appreciate that these laws will come into effect on the 
on the on on the basis of international students who are coming towards the to, to dream about that to settle down their life in a, in, a, in, a, in the very happiest one of the happiest country in in, in in all over the world so i i really i really appreciate for the international students no returns work for the for the finnish institutions universities and then we we every year we got to more than 100 students uh, from all over the world to, to get admission in uh, Finland. So I, I, I personally think that of course we need to get more students and of course we need to get into the Finnish uh, universities so that their education uh, education uh, areas can be fulfilled with the international students. So those who want to apply for uh, Finland for higher education, master program or bachelor program, don't hesitate to send an email to us. Uh, that's a service at nordicterms.se. So Nordic Terms, that is uh, N-O-R-D-I-C-T-U-R-N-S, Nordic Terms. So if you search for the website www.nordicterms.se and then you can find all the information in our website. You can log into it and then you can send all, all the information to us and we can start uh, start uh, for your application file right away. Uh, if you want to talk with me, you can book an appointment by the website and then you can pay for the appointment and then I can give you the Zoom meeting link and then we can discuss more about how to proceed for the, for, for the master or the bachelor application process. We do the Finnish uh, visa application process as well. So uh, we have steps for that and then I feel that uh, we, we have a very good service system for all the students here. So every year a lot of international students coming over here in uh, Sweden, Finland, Norway and Denmark and we work for them. Recently we started uh, working with the UK, USA and Australia and New Zealand with the partner universities. So those who want to seeking uh, international studies or higher studies in those countries, you can send us email and uh, with your uh, resumes, with your uh, with your academic certificates, with your uh, all the documents that needed for the admission, and then we will contact with you regarding the IELTS. The Finland Finland higher study they require six point five. The bachelor they require um, six, uh, not less than five uh, in any band and uh, UK we have a special uh, arrangement for that so uh, those uh, who are seeking for that you can directly apply with you what we, we what you have the IELTS score and then we will negotiate with the admission officer if we can take uh, uh, extra precaution without IELTS if possible it depends on your education background in your result and academic uh, career and our experience everything we will decide after that so i feel personally that nordic terms uh, can help you in the areas where you want to go uh, even if it's a nordic countries you want to come or you want to come to uk ireland scotland and then usa australia new zealand we can help you for your better study for your better future generation and for your higher studies I think that that's all for today, but I, I will not stop uh, making the videos because uh, we want to go further with the new legislation for Sweden, for Finland, for Denmark and other countries. So I will not stop here, but of course I, will, I want to make the videos and then when you have the, something in mind, you can write in the comment section and I can get back to you with uh, more information, what I know, and I can gather my, my research. So, the, till then, I will, I will, I will say everyone a uh, very good luck, and then the new legislations that affect into 15th of April 2022 in Finland. The students, those who are in Finland now, those uh, who are aiming for permanent residency, good luck to them because now it's uh, getting more easier. I wish everyone a good evening. Assalamu alaikum, Allah Hafiz.